I'm a very tired man. Oh. All right, tanks. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can I move? Oh! Why don't you touch the trucks? I'm touching her. This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. This might be proved useful when it comes to combat and the combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like that, like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? Am I? In my country, even a child in in grade school can operate a tank, no problemo. No problemo. Of course, in the modern warfare, this required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with the na with anime, and now this Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than a scrap of metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff is the base. Uh, probably won't be useful to any to us. No. That is wrong. Huh? Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operation operator seat. The Future Foundation's insignia? Quark Island Development Plan. What is this? I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather... ostentatiously. Tatiously. I do not know much we can trust. We, uh, I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be use a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it, like you said. It, it's hard to know how much we can trust of it. Say what does it say? So what does it say? Beyond what is written here, I do not know much. But it does document Jabberox Island redevelopment plan at a considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. Central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there some was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agencies that managed Jobwalk Island went bankrupt, so the island was inhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily full gain, uh, easily gain foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here would have been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that future foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what is the incident? What does it mean that we s that the, the island was inefficient? The most tragic, most awful event ever. By it. I cannot discern from that. Uh, I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp that what those words mean. However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. Yep. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Yes. It was written there that... The Central Island House is a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented how strange that was, right? But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters... Could it be that same building? They are planning to rebuild it and use it as a Future Foundation's headquarters, so it was written... What the heck? It's, it's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it! what the hell is going on? We were so distracted by all this horrible situation that kept happening one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. <clears throat> Man, this place is so boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. Huh? 
I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. A real man fights with it. A real man fights with his fists. That goes for a woman too. If you want to battle a little, if you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> boob pillows. <laughs> <laughs> boob pillows. Okay. This military truck, unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But it doesn't even know. But I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. Well, we to start, to, we have to do the weapons in the back. There we go. It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms, and there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons, like guns and anti-tank rockets, carelessly stacked in here. Is it really all right to handle these carelessly? I see Monokuma. Where? I, top left. Oh. There he is. Thanks, Barakuba. The, the hel this helicopter. Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Terra Terra? Oh, I forgot about that. This helicopter, don't screw with me. Bam. Ow. What the fuck? Hajime, what happened? They had a cartoon smash sound effect. It's nothing, I'm fine. Gets a little big boil come out of his head. Whoop. I couldn't help punching it. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. My fist. Damn it, I'm so weak. Punching a fucking military airplane. Everywhere we go, the literally bullets can't shoot through it. Everywhere we go, we're it's being the cameras. constantly monitored. Up. Oh. oh, those are both cameras. Oh, I already did this. Okay. Okay. What else do we have to see here? Hmm. The Sea King Industries? Yes. Wow! What the fuck? This is where the monobeats are being built. Yeah. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in uh, all directions, but I f it feels very sci-fi. Sea King Industries? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric installations and other machine parts. They're so mid-sized. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation of Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mind, for a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. I guess so. I only uh, read about them in the pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides the size of the com company, isn't the issue here? This company obviously doesn't make a machine make machine parts so I just want so just so just what the heck are they making here he's right it's like they're making something more dangerous it seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly navigate this place investigate that's what I said you said navigate uh, investigate this automated machine looks like it's making something is it a mannequin it's a humanoid machine. If that is that a robot? Seriously? How can he make a? How can he make robots? Well, I guess he said, "Is that a robot?" Hey, just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you even think Nekamaro? How do you even think Nekamaro was made? Here, it's a similar mu humanoid robot. It possesses possible, maybe. Uh, but why would a company that manufactured machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. Gee whiz! This machine, is it making another machine? What the fuck? The finished product looks like it's a modeled after a four-legged animal. Are you fucking kidding me? You don't know? Hey, doesn't that animal, uh, doesn't that animal looking machine remind you of anything? Are you thinking about the Mono Beasts? Is there any chance that those monobies were created here? 
The mono beasts were created here. Yep, that's this place. That's what this place is for. No matter how much you insist, it's a game. Insist, it's a game. People won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? That's why it's just fine. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who cons convinced, who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took the time or... Does uh, this mean Monokuma took the time? Does this time? mean Monokuma took the time, uh, took over this place and modified it to, uh, to do this? Damn it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Is that it? Yep. I already talked to him, right? No. Hey, 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 Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Eh, why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. Well, obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Well, there's a computer over there. So I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been stand, uh, sending emails to this buddy or something. He was probably trying to write a manage or a, a manga or something. <laughs> a manage. He sent uh, one of his story ideas on to his buddy. It was a bunch of horrible delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me some ghost bumps. Delusional story. So what was the what was the written in the so what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. Mean. Seriously. Mean and seriously? I mean... I mean seriously? I didn't see the either. That's not realistic at all. So those, so these riots just keep growing as people grow. More distaste, just more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually, it spreads like an... In Infectious disease all over the world. Footage of riots starting start getting circulated. Strange incidents start occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? I know, right? It sounds like something as lame as high school band would think of a gas song. Of a song. A long... So what are you reading? <laughs> it sounds like some... Something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story, with better story ideas, because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never be able to, I'd never believe it for a second. But I learned a valuable lesson. I should have already deleted embarrassing emails a long time ago. Hey. About you, what are you? Are you sure it's okay for you? It's a, is there, are you sure it's okay to say that? To say that it's just a made-up story? Of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but there's no way this is real. It's more impossible that a notebook from that from that kills people. A notebook that kills people just by writing in it. What? That's death note. Yeah, you're right. Just as a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. By the world ending, there's no. But the world ending, there's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. Well, at any rate, this. It's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? This used to be the Sarah King Industries. Sea King. The Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. After this island became uninhabited, uninhabited, Marakuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to be, just to shock us. That's the reason. That's not so weird. This whole time I've been doing similar stuff to us. But why? Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are, in, who are into this stuff. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards. Get off on watching kids kill each other. Wait, hold on. Now that's now that I said it. Oh, now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, 
If that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. That sounds like something that would happen in a work. That sounds like something that wouldn't that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. That's also a reference to something. Hey, Ajime, I was looking for you. What's up, Fuyuhiko? I'm thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right, I think I've explored everywhere at the, at, la at least once for now. Well then, well, uh, then. Do you want to meet up with everyone else and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. I figured I'd, it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know Fuyuhiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait, so... I should hurry over to the street with the food uh, stands. So it wasn't- the emails weren't fake, they were real. It was about the reserve department making a riot. Yes. Look at how little they are. Alright! Oh, Nagito's in here. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? What about Nagito? Okay, it's not like he's our friend or anything. I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. So what's... So how'd it go? Did you learn something about the Future Foundation? Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable or if any. However, I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Are you sure about that? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they'll trap us on this island. That's true, that's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted she had pretty much admitted to it by this point. But even though Monami is forcing us to kill each other. Monokuma. Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other. Monami has been opposing him. You mean pretending to oppose him, right? No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Then uh, it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because the oppo because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? It's like a three-way battle. It's kind of hot. Okay. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Are you talking about that because you're actually the traitor? That's working for them. That's working for them? Don't be a fucking idiot. No way! You're clearly suspicious. Suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Kazuichi Soda, shut up! Yes! There never was a traitor Monokuma lied to us. Lie? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious to of one uh, each other. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? Weak. How weak. God yeah, damn it. it. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. That weakness is hopeless. Nakito. I guess we talked to him. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys keep running around in circles. What are you hamsters? What are you, hamsters? Oops, if I compared you guys to hamsters, will I get yell yelled at by weak by uh by weakling who dropped out? By that weakling who dropped out? What what does that? You asked where I'd been this whole time, right? Well, I was in the middle of uh, looking for someone. Looking for someone? I thought the person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. Or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, what are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? It's probably the survivor of the killing school life. 
Makoto? Uh -huh. If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Byakuya? He's a survivor you're talking about, right? Huh? Oh, I see. You guys have only reached the stage. What stage? You're not making any sense at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like him. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why Byakuya, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Did you think it's strange? What does that mean? The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain. Yeah, listen to me, Sonya! You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. I don't like ya either. Well, I don't like you either. Well, I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first either. place. Either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. Ah, oh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. But it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs my me my life. Are you going to weed out the you're going to weed out the traitor? As I've already said, there is no traitor. Heh! <laughs> I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is, if I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island. Will I? Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then, I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? Tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Nagito, what does that mean? Bye! Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. I don't want to think about it, but... Could he be planning to kill? Maybe he's trying to kill the traitor? Yeah. A kill Who? Who's he gonna kill? Based on how he's talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. There is no such person! I mean, the notion that one of us have been deceiving us all along! I will never, ever believe that! Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I have a talent. Well, regardless of who's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? Then we gotta tie him up again! Forcing him to stop it is the only way! It's impossible. Nakamaru's not even here anymore. Heh, <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. Yeah, that's you're right. They all gang on him. Yep. I love him. Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi's right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we bring cautious... If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope. It just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. Free time? No. Oh. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Wow, my friends. Good night. Jeez, even her ignorance has a limit. What are you talking about this time? It's Sonya. She had the nerve to say she wanted to check out my body. What? Oh, your body. <laughs> Don't think about weird things, you bastard. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't like that. 
I don't know where she, her head, is, where she where she heard it from, but she came up to me and said, "Real yakuza are supposed to be to have tattoos, so show them to me." Oh. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> it's not funny for her to tell me strip right in front of her. Who does she think she is? Besides, tattoos aren't supposed to be a gawked at. Okay. <laughs> Sonya, you're weird. <laughs> Time to go to sleep. Can I go inside of the room? Nope, okay. I can't go inside dead people's rooms. Alright, Kasumi is Kazuichi, right? Okay, yeah, I'm sleeping. Okay, now I go to sleep. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call them these clues. So I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as n nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while, and then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. Words are extremely dangerous! Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with backspace! That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me! There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir... D... D... Dietrich? Dietrich. D... Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Cha Cha Junior. <laughs> to be honest, Cha Cha Junior was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he'd just stare at her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties, and that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole with for Dietrich's old undies. Also, this one time. Ugh. The three of us went to a steakhouse, and the waiter asked, how would you like it cooked? Cha-Cha Jr. proudly said, with fire! Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Cha-Cha Jr. He made Cha-Cha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it. Then he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Cha-Cha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did something shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said it to Chaka Jr. Foxes and squirrels, natural enemies. The next day I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich Sir... What? He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled... Good thing I immediately tattled to everyone... To... to good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could be put down so he can put down Ch Ch Chata Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I had said back then. Jeez, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. My throat is hurting. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Be loud and proud. Go outside the building. I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. Now I should head over to the restaurant. Should we head the at the restaurant next time? No, we're heading over now. What? We have oh. one more minute. Ugh. <sighs> 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 There she is, Chiaki. I'll talk to Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki! I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were. I'm totally not sleeping. I was playing a game. You were playing while you were... You were sleeping while you were playing a game? There was always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you took more 
You look more tired than usual. Last night I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night, so maybe that's why. A weird dream? I was a Monokuma it was a pu- it was it was a, it was a Monokuma puzzle game. It was like um one of those QR code puzzles from David Dobrik. Ooh. No, no. It was like one of those falling tile games where you make falling Monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Oh, Tetris. Uh it was like one of those um tile falling games um where the game just randomly ends. 